Hey everyone, RobotWare here. Today I'm going to be showing you my setup for the NES Pi cartridge, and hopefully this will help simplify the process for some of you. I went with a, an original NES cartridge here. Uh, one thing you need to know about that is sometimes they come with the original screws, and you would need these to get in there. Okay. Now there's other ways of doing it, creating molds and all this stuff, but for three dollars it's well worth it okay uh, you have different options NES cartridges here one thing you'll notice two screws missing off you only need three which helps a lot because once I show you the inside here screws up there missing great for this because then this can be pushed further up in here. Uh, had to wiggle this around, especially around this middle hole here. Uh, it's slightly smaller too over here. Helps a lot. Now one, the biggest difference is right here. Everything goes in through the USB connection side. The power in, you do not need. If you're using the micro USB OTG cable okay now let me show you uh, some people might be thinking well how is that possible there's no power in connection activity getting power now with this micro USB OTG cable you got to make sure it's switched into the OTG position. Okay. Then plug your power in there. All right. Rundown. Double sided tape. That helps keep the, the pie from moving around, keep it in place. Raspberry Pi Zero, of course. Mini HDMI to HDMI connection. OTG cable, micro USB. And here's the bezel. I got this from 8-Bit Junkie. Got two of these, uh, I think. The shipping and everything was like $20. It's nice though. It's uh, it's, it's not soft or flimsy. Did a good job. Heat sinks, because there's still room to put heat sinks on there. Even though it, the Pi Zero doesn't get that hot, I still put it on. Okay. Um, you do have to take off these dividers here. Just run. Razor blade along both sides here. A pair of pliers. We go back and forth. Pop that off. Uh, now what I did on mine also. Sand it down a bit. You can use uh, sandpaper. You can use a Dremel. Uh, I got this Amazon. I believe I paid like fifteen dollars for it, and it's interchangeable with uh, Dremel parts too really easy to do. I hope this helps simplify the process a bit for some people. Uh, adding an extra cable plus an extension in here just for the power. Uh, not much room in here. There's plenty of room for this, but you start adding all those cables and everything in. Gets a little messy. Alright, uh, well, hopefully you guys found this useful. If so, Hit like and subscribe, and I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.